Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. Um, I'm going to talk today about, I've been having a lot of dreams, and so the Lord's been giving me a lot of scriptures, so I'm just going to start doing like a scripture a day. That's kind of why I call it this, so I'm going to dive right into it, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, the voice of, of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of those who will say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endures forever. Jeremiah 33, and he said 11 through 15. And of those who will bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord, for I will cause the captives, the land, to return at the first, says the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, in this place which is desolate, without man and without beast, and in all the cities there shall be again, there shall again be a dwelling place, the shepherds causing their flocks to lie down. In the cities and in the mountains of the mountains, in the cities of the lot of the lowland, in the cities of the south, in the land of Benjamin, in the place places around Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judea, the flocks shall again pass under the hands of of him who counts them, saith the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, I can't, that I will perform that good thing which I have promised the house of Israel and the house of Judea. In those days and at that time I will cause I will cause to grow up to up in David, a branch of righteousness. He shall ex execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. Actually, I'm going to share the dream with you, and then this is the scripture the Lord gave me during prayer, during my morning prayer. So the dream I had was me and my wife, and we were standing before, each of us were standing before a mountain, and the mountain was on fire, just burning. But you could see the mountain in the backdrop. And under, underneath the mountain and all around in the circle was a lake. And the Lord was on the other side of the mountain. And he was saying, beckoning us to come. To come on. Come through. Come through. Come through. And so I was like, okay, God, you want us to come through the mountain? So I was like, and step into the fire of the mountain. I was like, okay. So... As I stepped into the on top of the lake that was below the mountain, it was cool, but not cold, but it was cool. And it just, it was almost like it was keeping me from the burning fire, the coolness of it. It was kind of strange. And so I walked through the fire across the lake and through the mountain, literally through the mountain, not, not on top of it, not around it, not over it, through it, and it was solid. And when I got to the other side, and I came through the fire on the other side, and out of the lake, Jesus was standing there, and took a white robe and, and put it on me and everything that was burnt off of him and cleansed and purified. So, my wife was just kind of a little hesitant, but then I kept saying, come on, come on, come on, honey. Come, come on through. And so, that was a dream. And then, in the morning time in prayer, the Lord spoke to me and said the scripture was for that dream. So, that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, kind of leave, you know, comment on it. You guys got some interpretations on it. Um, I've got some. 
but I kind of want to hear from you guys too. So let's just, you know, give me some feedback on it. Um, look at some of my other YouTube videos. If you like them, share them with others. Thanks for listening. God bless you. That's kind of the scripture for the day, Jeremiah 33, 11 through 15. So anyhow, uh, we love you guys, and we'll talk to you real soon.